Today I'm really excited to talk to you about a couple of new updates from Hobbywing. We've got one freshly updated system that I think a lot of people are going to be really interested in, and then one crazy new system that is really big, really powerful, and really expensive. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that they announced is a new Max 8 G2. It looks fairly similar to the original Max 8, but there are a few notable changes to it. First, they updated the fan and heat sink configuration, and they say that's gonna keep the Max 8 G2 25 degrees C cooler than the original Max 8. Now, that's a pretty big drop, and I'll be interested to see if they can actually meet that number. If that's true, that means that this ESC could be applicable to a lot more cars than it was originally. Once you got over 10 or 11 pounds with this ESC before, it really had a chance of overheating, and even with an aftermarket fan, it would get pretty hot pretty quickly. Second change that they say they made to this has been a the increase in the size of the capacitors. They say you'll no longer need to run external capacitors with larger vehicles with these, which I think is really cool. They say the capacitor volume is up 74%. I think it's a great change for the Max 8. Now, the most exciting update to the Max 8, in my opinion, is it is now a censored ESC. For a lot of bashers, that's not a huge deal, but it's a really nice thing to have. And if you're doing any kind of slow running with this ESC, or you wanna put it in a big crawler or something like that, having a censored option is fantastic. Now to go along with this new censored option, they have two new motors as well. This is the new 4268 motor and the new 4278 motor. Since these are censored motors, the cans are actually a little bit longer than the original ones to accommodate that censored circuitry. I'm assuming that's why they have that new 4278 size. Whether or not that'll be more powerful than the original version, I'm not sure. We'll have to try it out and find out. It appears as though they're using the same type of connector for the sensor wire as they do with their Axe series. That's a really nice connector. It's waterproof, easy to connect, and a lot better than the standard sensor connection. They do say that this will be compatible with standard sensor motors, so I'm assuming an adapter is going to come with it. The other change that I see that they've made to the motor is this cool kind of spiral heatsink design. I don't think it's a practical change, but it does look neat. According to their website, you're also going to be able to do real-time logging and data logging with this new G2. You're gonna need the OTA module box in order to do that, but I think that's gonna be a pretty cool feature. I'm excited to check that out. Now, pricing for the Max 8 G2 is gonna be $149 for the ESC alone, and then $239 for the Max 8 4268 combo. That's a little bit of an increase from the last generation, but to get a censored motor and a censored ESC and the, all the other improvements that they've said they're gonna have, I think that's a really good deal. Before we get into this next ESC, I wanna thank everybody who has subscribed. The channel's growing really fast. If you wanna be part of this channel, you wanna be part of the family, go ahead and get subscribed. Hit the bell to get notified of future videos. We've got a lot more really cool stuff coming up in the future. Now let's talk about the Beast. This is the Max 4, and this thing is absolutely gigantic. You can tell from the size of the heatsink fan, that's a 40 millimeter heatsink fan, just like on the Max 5, and it is absolutely huge huge compared to the Max 5. This thing is gonna be 300 amps continuous, 2000 amps peak. It is also censored. It's gonna take up to 12S LiPo. It also has the ability to do the wireless logging and live data streaming with that Bluetooth adapter. This thing is huge. Like I said, 125 millimeters by 85 millimeters by 62 millimeters. Thing weighs almost a kilogram, 775 grams. I don't think this thing's gonna be appropriate for most bashing vehicles. This is gonna be for your really big one-fifth scale vehicles, one-fourth scale vehicles, those kinds of things. And it has a price to match those lofty specs. This ESC is gonna be coming in at $450, which is an insane price given that you can get an XLX2 and motor from Castle for the same price. Now, of course, this is a bit bigger and presumably more powerful, but Castle motors and ESCs of the same or similar specification have typically been more powerful than their Hobbywing counterparts. So I'll be really curious to see how this thing works out. To go along with this ESC, there's the new Easy Run 7125 brushless motor, another huge piece of equipment, censored motor. This thing's gonna be $350. So basically, if you're wanting to get this combo, you're looking at over $800 for the two. I get the feeling we're gonna see this ESC and motor combination in the Raminator and really big fifth scale vehicles. All right, well, that's all the information we have right now. I'm gonna get these things on pre-order as soon as they're available, and then we'll be doing reviews on the channel when we can get them. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, drop any comments down if you have any questions or comments, and we'll see you next time.